reshuffle, yes. Andrew. Yes. Rishi Sunak has <clears> to <throat> uh, rearrange <laughs> the chairs in his cabinet. Before he says the deck chairs on the Titanic, yeah. which in fact he's about <laughs> to, of course. Um, it, because he's get... Now, the significant thing for viewers, because yeah. they might think, well, who cares yeah. who the chairman is and who the deputy prime minister is? I've got, a, a, you know, an energy bill to pay yeah. and, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, and, and, and wages uh, to, to strike over. You know, I mean, that, those are the things that viewers and voters are worried mm. about right now. But, but why does it matter? Particularly, why does the chairman position matter? And this is Nadim Zahawi's yeah. job that he was removed from. Yeah, sacked last week uh, because he forgot to tell the Prime Minister he paid a million pound penalty fine oh. on his tax. The chairman's job um, in the run-up to a local election and general election is pivotal. It's one of the most important jobs in the Cabinet. You organise the strategy, you get the money in from the donors. And we are only 18 months away from a general election probably, and we've got local elections in May which are probably going to be catastrophic for the Conservatives, but you need somebody in there marshalling the troops, organising the strategy. And ironically, Nadim Zahawi was best suited to do that job. He set up the polling company YouGov, he knew all about polling and political trends, mm. and he was very good being a very rich man himself. He was very good with the donors, But if, beginning to write big checks. If the Tories are going to get hammered in the local elections, yeah, who's going to want this job? Because well, then they'll it, there's a lot of responsibility that. that will come with it. I mean, does it yeah. come with a caveat saying, you're going to make your party chairman, well, don't worry, we won't blame they, you for the they, local elections? Look, governments this close to the end always do badly in local government elections, sure. so they'll be... But they still will hope that this is 92, when the Tories were 20 points behind, but John Major pulled it back to beat Neil Kinnock rather than 97, it, when Labour won by a landslide. It, it's the job that nobody who is a cabinet minister Minister now wants yeah. mm. because you don't have a department yeah. uh, with your red box and your government car. Uh, the, the Tory party will pay this, the salary, so we, the taxpayers, will pay it. But you don't run a department, so you are. You, you, you just, they'll come on Good Morning Britain once a week, and you'll give them a good kicking. And quite <laughs> right, sorry, hold them to account. Uh, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's part of the role. They go around, as you say, coll collecting money. That's really a dirty job. You go to lots of Tory associations, like, you know, Labour, Labour have rubber the, the same... Rubber chicken dinners, we yeah, call them. You, rubber chicken. You try and G people up. And you're right, you... Bad, ele bad election results, you're going to get the blame. Now, they can say it wasn't me, it was, I got appointed too late, but nevertheless, it won't look good on your CV. So will they be uh, fighting for it, Andrew, or will they all be trying to <laughs> well, keep if, their head down well, and hopefully if, won't if catch their eye? If you're hugely ambitious and outside the Cabinet, this may be your great chance to start. So who would you yeah. think...? Well, I think... We, Kevin and I were talking about this. Um, I wonder if they're going to give it to Kemi Badnock. Ooh. She's, she's a formidable she was a media leadership performer. Contender. She ran for the leadership. Very uh, popular. Very popular. Um, she's of what origin is she? Um, she she's a, a British African, isn't she? British African. Yeah. Uh, she's got a very safe seat in Essex, and she's she's very tough on the trans issues. She's very tough on the culture yes. wars, and she speaks the language of Tory members. So she would yeah. be a really inspiring. She, she heard, heard in my about, view. The international trade department may be abolished and moved back in trade back into business, mm. uh, and so her job could disappear. So I could see why she might yeah. have to do it. Or Grant she Chaps. May... Yeah, she... Grant, Grant Chaps. Chaps has done it before. Grant Chaps did it for three years to 2015, ended in tears, and he uh, was moved out after a, an internal row. Um, yeah. I, I know somebody who currently uh, needs a job and uh, has been <laughs> held to account on this programme and also was good at getting money when he appeared on I'm a Celebrity. And that's He's not getting the job. Matt Hancock. <laughs> no, no job for Matt Hancock as no? Tory chairman. That we can all agree. Even Kevin and I could agree <laughs> on that. More chance. And he's I pitching think... himself in for dancing yeah, on this I, one, I, I, I actually that. think oh. the toad on his head has more chance <laughs> yeah, of being yeah, yeah, a Tory yeah. chair. Or than maybe Matt his, his lovely mum who we brought into the green room with him she, last week. She did a very she good was job. Very Better nice. than him. She was very nice. She was very nice. Have we got the pictures of Matt Hancock from Dancing on Ice? I wonder if um, if Stuart can find those, cos uh, he does... He's very prepared to be on yeah. screen. Dancing yeah, yeah, on yeah. thin ice. Asked, <laughs> yeah. uh, he was well, answering questions from Holly Willoughby he on, on uh, Sunday. He danced on very thin ice in this very studio last week, and I'm afraid he fell through it. <laughs> I know he did. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Oh, good. Oh, wow. I think he was... Was he not nestled between... Who was he there? Gina. Gina, Gina who's running Gina, the campaign. Gina, Barry Chuckle and Christopher Biggins. Yeah. Lovely So Biggins. I think that's the that's the that's where the celebrity friends and family sit. And look, he's uh, worn a white shirt, so he stands out. Right, that's, yes. there's, that's no New accident. New haircut. Yeah, well, not, he hasn't got much hair, has he? he and look uh, at Gina looking lovingly at him. So maybe he won't be going in. Will Dominic Raab stay? I mean, Dominic Raab's still under investigation. Rishi Sunak stood by him saying we're going to let the investigation well, I think he wants run its course. Investigation to run its course. But this but, is, a, but but this is interesting. Could, but right? they could move him. You have, right, he's forced, Sunak, the Prime Minister's forced to, to shuffle his pack because he lost Zawari over the tax. Mm. 
He could be doing this again in two weeks or a month if Rob is found to be re uh, guilty of really serious bullying allegations, which he denies, yep. but there's a lot, uh, a lot of them. So he could be losing his deputy prime minister and his justice mm -hmm. secretary. So in, would it be an easy uh, fix for him to do it now? Before that comes out, in the in the in the well, if, in the but, risk of it. But if he's but if he's then vindicated by the inquiry, he's lost his job for but no reason. Does he? Can he bring him back somewhere I else? Suppose, but, he needs... but it's a tricky one. Yeah. Bringing them back, then you, I thought you he'd wait till I thought he'd wait until yeah. the inquiry into Rab was completed before he reshuffled his cabinet. Mm. Yeah. But the need to have that Tory chairman is pressing. Mm.